Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, let's see. Tomorrow is Halloween. I think I might um end up recording tomorrow. Um, but then I've got some things going on this week, so probably won't be posting a whole lot the rest of this week. Um other than that, if I don't pop up tomorrow. Happy Halloween to all of you, for those of you who celebrate that. Let's see what general message we have today. This could be for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, anyone drawn to the message at any time you are drawn to the message. interesting I feel like for this illumination this is someone either you or someone you're connected with who's actually looking at themselves looking at how you handle rejection maybe you've recently been rejected in some sort of way maybe you used to have a fear of this someone here used to have some sort of like fear or discomfort surrounding rejection um, but you've made peace with this. You kind of took a look at whatever you needed to look at about this. This energy in reverse, I feel this is kind of an understanding that kind of like a... Rejection is God's protection kind of thing. Um, recognizing that sometimes a rejection is more about the other person and you don't really have to beat yourself up about it. Yeah, you're learning to listen to your intuition more. This is what this is with this sadness here. That that you're, someone is, is kind of overcoming some sort of fear of rejection or, or maybe some of you have been recently rejected in a relationship or a situation and you realize that you don't really have to be sad anymore about this because your intuition is coming through strong. You're learning these things that how sometimes rejection is all part of the bigger plan and sometimes even the person who did the rejecting can be in a really unhealthy energy. So you definitely don't need to take that on for yourself. Yeah, the growth. This is definitely someone's growth coming through here. You're venturing towards wanting a new kind of love, like a healthier, more upright. More balanced. You're working on this because you want to attract this in. Maybe in the past, you kind of deliberately dealt with unhealthy relationships or maybe even not deliberately, but you're recognizing a pattern here. And you're ready to give that up. You're doing, doing the work. I feel like really this is someone who had like a fear of rejection. And because of that, you intentionally or unintentionally attracted the kind of partner that would put you through this. And it was really so you could come into this understanding and come into this growth. And that is what I am seeing here. Yeah, you're really, you're kind of excited and really craving a new, to try something new in the department, in like the love, your area of love here. I almost said love department and I couldn't get myself to do it. <laughs> I'm 
yeah peace in reverse you've had some very kind of unhealthy um maybe chaotic here you haven't had a lot of peace in your love life basically in your partnerships relationships Yeah, you are doing like, this is heavy, like all my heavy kind of spiritual cards are out here. You have really, really, like this is big. If this could be bigger, this growth is big because this growth within you was very important kind of as, as far as like your soul lessons go, as far as your higher purpose goes here you really tapped into spirit you started kind of listening listening to god listening to your angels um seeking their advice and their wisdom because maybe you went through this cycle a few too many times and you're finally putting an end to it here and you've reached this this transformation this is like a soul level transformation here it's going to bring in what you hope it will bring. It's not quite here yet. This did come out a bit like this, but it is coming in. Someone here needs to cleanse their area, bless their area, or for those of you who don't really have, maybe this is kind of a newer journey for you that you're just now stepping into your more, you're, you're turning to this more often, your spiritual side. Um, for those of you who don't have basically like a sacred space, a space where you can sit down and connect, um, Whatever that means for you, lighting a candle, doing sage, doing this is a reiteration here. This is this this death ending. This whatever unhealthy pattern here is definitely over this destiny card. One door closes and another door opens for you. So something, something more, yes, on the bottom, it says, kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. This I'm really getting was almost, this was some sort of heavy cycle. This could have been even someone's generational cycle that you've set free here and overcome with all of this, the trust, the faith, the intuition, the mystery. There's something very significant about um, a soul level, spiritual level transformation when it comes to either rejection among any kind of people, avoiding it, or um, specifically in your relationships. You've overcome something big here. And because of that, things are about to be like, you're more on your destined path at this point. You're more on your aligned path path this is kind of overcoming some sort of karmic or generational cycle yes it says old cords of pain fade this is definitely what's going on here it's funny because it says a sunset and a sunrise this says a sunset and this says as sunrise hits upon the dew. So something new is coming is what this card is saying. It says prepare for the unexpected. And then this unexpected is a moment's joy. So something wonderful is coming through. Kind of in divine timing. As it's talking about sand going through an hourglass. You're about to have more. Like this is going to be in the upright. A lot more love, joy, peace. Coming into all of your circumstances.
I feel like you may, may even be someone who literally kind of hid your true self. That's what this card is talking about. And it's coming out in reverse. This card in the upright is someone who's kind of hiding who they truly are, hiding their true self. And it's because of this cycle that you were in, afraid to be rejected, something like that. Someone has overcome this really big, amazing cycle. In the spirit of Halloween, I have my um, Nightmare Before Christmas tarot out here. <laughs> you, you, I'm either talking to an emperor or you have an emperor coming in. Three of potions. That's three of cups. This is a celebration. You might... Yeah. <laughs> the lovers. This, whoever this is, it's a king of cups. Someone in part of the reward, the gift that you're getting is very possibly your divine counterpart here with the lovers the emperor this person is coming out of king of cups could be a water sign it doesn't have to be hmm, something something's always hiding under the nine of pentacles for me Page of Swords. I feel like someone's about to come into a lot of like blessing with all these presents here, all these gifts. It could have been because of all this work you did all in, and the finances coming in are going to make you independent. I do feel like this is hiding underneath this. Um, This is a Page of Swords energy. This is giving me kind of someone's keeping an eye on this, maybe a little something to be aware of. What's new that keeps coming out recently? Someone's about to get lots of blessings and someone is kind of being cheeky and mischievous and wants to peek and see what's going on or see if they can get in on it. Someone in a very kind of young energy here. Lots of page energy. Page of presence. Page of... This is someone who um, is not very stable, needs finances. I feel like they're going to try and play on your emotions, acting innocent. So that's a very important for whoever is about to step into these blessings. Um, for those of y'all who normally listen to most of my messages, thank you, of course. Anyone who's listening now, every single one of my videos, y'all, y'all are the best. That is amazing. Um, and y'all already know then that really over the past six months or so, when we getting this message that someone's about to get an unexpected divine, a union, maybe you didn't even see this coming because you've been kind of in your own place doing your own thing. Someone's about to get the union and someone's about to get like finances here. There is a warning. Someone from your past or someone around you here, just be on guard. The blessings are yours no matter what. So we already know with that promise that it's going to be okay. But it's you probably would know who this person is. And just to be on guard because this person is in a five of cups energy. Um, someone's going to be really unhappy seeing this coming in. Yeah, you might be a, um, a fire sign. I feel like we have queen of, of wands here. Queen of candles is queen of wands. Again... I had a message that came up in a reading and it wasn't posted on the channel, but not that long ago, I, I wish it could have got out there because I was like giggling basically because in the message, it literally was saying that someone in the divine collective has a secret, uh, divine union coming in. Like you, it's coming in. You think it's a soulmate. It's someone from your past and you didn't kind of you didn't expect this reunion or something to the, something like that um and it turned like like after you're already in it god's gonna be like surprise this is your divine counterpart <laughs> it's 
So um, that's really funny and exciting. I don't know why it's coming through that way. That's like not typical, but um, everybody's divine counterpart journey is going to be different based on something you need to learn or something you need to experience. So that's really funny, whoever that's for. And this could even be for this person. And we have you coming up as um, potential heavy fire sign placement or fire sign. What's coming through is once upon a time, this person who's upset about this, who is in this five of pentacles energy or five of cups energy here, once upon a time, they made you a third party and now they're being made like, like spirit here has made this person a third party for making you a third party. And they're going to be pretty unhappy about that. And I would not be surprised if this person and this person are the same person. Or you've got multiple people around you that are basically going to feel, feel some kind of way about this huge blessing you're about to get. But you earn this because this was some sort of major cycle. Major cycle in the spirit that you have accomplished here. Yep, this is moving on. This is part of part of what this was here. This may even been the final lesson of this big thing you went through with rejection. This person here might have rejected you. And it was really difficult. But all of this growth and everything came along with it. Yeah, you you have healed from this, the temperance, excuse me. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You're moving on and you're moving into blessings. Meanwhile, this other person here is about to be feeling the things that they put you through. Or people. I am getting for some of you, this is more than one person. This is kind of like you had all these people that were a part of this big lesson over rejection or whatever this was for you. Um, relationships, friends, a bunch of people here, family for some of you. Um, and then you're stepping in, you're stepping out of this lesson because you learned it and you're stepping into this new, brighter, happier, and gifts, lots and lots of gifts from the universe for this, um, for some of you, I really am getting you broke some sort of generational curse, generational generational cycle. And a lot of these gifts and rewards are coming in from your love and light ancestors, which is, I'm getting tingly as I say that. That is wonderful. This is you. You exercised, um, you exercised your spiritual strength here big time. You kept going no matter what was thrown at you. No matter what difficulty, no matter what lesson, you tapped in your strength, your spiritual strength, and you kept going. You kept your eye on the prize. Whether you were physically doing that, whether that was a conscious decision, or unconsciously, you just kept your eye on kind of unconditional love, on spirit, on hope, on faith, on following knowing following the light following the guidance from from spirit here saying hey i'm lost in the dark please show me how to get out of this and this is why you're being rewarded and whoever some of the people depending on what happened now they're going to be experiencing some sort of karma i'm getting someone that you've been dealing with is gonna be put through these kinds of experiences because they need to increase their spiritual strength. They need to learn these lessons themselves. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords on the bottom. 
and the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords, you're getting blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings for wrapping this up and for putting up boundaries and saying no and moving on from all of these people who didn't serve you. I feel like you're someone who's naturally very humble um, and you always keep going, going, going. In this case, this is saying when this reward comes in, don't sit here and be humble. Don't keep going. They want you to actually say, hey, I earned this. Um, take, take a breather here. They want you to actually go on vacation, take peace, take rest, like tat, pat yourself on the back. You earned it kind of thing. And also whatever fears you have moving forward to make sure you're still practicing to calm your mind. I'm getting for some of you, you especially have full moon in cancer, um, emotional um, and family. I'm getting for someone specific here, your fears are going to be popping up when you get in this new relationship here. Yeah, be open to change. You have may even become kind of like like a hermit crab, sort of. Um, in the way you handle other people and relationships, etc. There's a reminder here. For someone specific, I'm getting your fears are going to pop up in this new relationship. More so that than any kind of new finances. You have a lot of fears surrounding love and connections. It is safe to stand in your power and remind yourself to be standing in your power. Remember to stay in your place of gratitude moving forward. Because if you're if you're one of these people or this person who's been coming up recently and it looks like very possibly we've had ten of pentacles, ten of cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um one of these people who is about to step into these huge unexpected blessings, remember like everything is gonna change. There's a huge big shift that's coming along with this. And you're being reminded to not forget where you've come from, not forget what you've learned. And especially when it comes to your finances, to stay in gratitude and in love. Remember to always stay that this is kind of your guiding light here, is, is to stay in gratitude. Yeah, embrace the flow of life. That right there is kind of a reminder for, you know, those common everyday hiccups when you can't, when you can't avoid the fact that you went out that day and someone hit your car or whatever it is, that's a part of it. And not to be like, oh, it must be not what I thought I was. I must not be this powerful, amazing, lucky, blessed person because I got in a car accident today. It's a reminder that life, life very much is going to do that. It has a, a kind of a reason behind the, a, what's the, what's the word? What's the term? Rhyme, rhyme behind the re reason behind the rhyme. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say here. Y'all know that's what I'm saying. Um, that's what's, what this is about. That's about being able to embrace the flow of life. And staying grateful even on those days where someone hit your bumper on the highway that day or whatever it is. It's just an example that I'm using. 
so that's what's coming through here it looks a lot like the same kind of message like you're about to be blessed you wrapped up some huge cycle your ancestors are celebrating you you're about to see it in the 3d you might need to be aware of some of the people that you've been dealing with in your past um this is still really exciting spirit really wants someone to be prepared and, and know and and start celebrating now you'll probably know if this is you um let's see other than that like i said um i'm not gonna get a whole lot posted this week i might try and get a few extra messages and things done today so i can post them later on or i might just bomb them all up today <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what we can do with that other than that uh, I will see y'all again here tomorrow and I may or may not I might do some sort of for those of you who resonate with like past life healing I might be doing some sort of past life message um, or even an ancestor message for some of you tomorrow here on Halloween. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next time.